Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, in this tutorial, we're going to be creating these button groups here. There's one with a pop-up image and a pop-up video. And there's some that go up and some that go down here. And some circular buttons. I haven't linked those to anything. Divi in itself is a fantastic theme. It just keeps getting better and better. I've designed so many sites with it over the years. It's just crazy. Um, and if you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you take a look at it. You can take it for a test drive from my affiliate link below this video. But these buttons that we're building today, we're going to be using a free plugin. And the plugin's called Divi Supreme Modules. And if you go to your dashboard, to your plugins, just simply hit Add New and put the word Supreme in there and hit Enter. It'll come up right there, Divi Supreme Modules. And like I say, it's free. Mine's already active because I've got it installed on this site. But that's the plugin we'll be using for this video today. I've just got a couple of little rounded buttons here. And again, I've used an, an alt text for a dollar sign in the middle there. So let's quickly do that one. Again, I'll en enable the Visual Builder. and add our Supreme button module. Button one text, let's move this out of the way so we can see. <laughs> really thoughtful, five. Button two text, six. Okay, links, I'm not even gonna put any links in. I'm just, put, all I'm gonna do is style these. OK, and uh, alt text we put in that, uh, or separator text, I should say. We put in a dollar sign, which was if we go back and look at our alt codes. There it is right there. Dollar sign is number 36, so it's alt 36. Hold down the alt key and type in 36. There it is, we got our dollar sign. So now let's go over and style our buttons. I'll do that little separator first because the buttons will take slightly longer. And all I think I did was just took the text size up a bit. It looks like I might have made it semi bold. So under separator font weight, semi bold. There we go. OK, let's style our buttons. Again, I didn't change the font text size. And we want to use custom styles. Uh, it looks like I made the uh, text color wants to be white, yet again. And background color is going to be blue. It's fine. And border color, I'll have that as blue as well. That's fine, that's all we need to do with that one. And the second one, oh, I guess we do we have a hover? Oh, okay, no, a hover effect. I did that with CSS. Okay, so we'll just do the second button quickly. Again, I want to turn this off. Uh, icon, turn that one off. Do not want the icon with this button too. Hex color white, background color green. border color green and icon we want off there we go that's all we need to do I can put a bit of shadow on there 
but it won't actually let me do it just on the hover. I just want it on the hover state. I don't want it on the actual regular state. So let's turn that off, save it. Actually, I need to align those to the, the center first. There we go. Now let's save. And save our changes and exit the Divi Builder. Now then, as I say, I'm using Google Chrome. I'm going to use the inspector to just style these how I want them. Which is inspect. There's a button. It's the A tag. So again, to do this, we're going to have to give it a class. Uh, border radius, I'm going to give it 50%. We can do this in the actual thing itself. But we're already in here, so I'll do this. 50%. It's kind of made it round, but it's not exactly round. It's sort of wider than it is tall. So it's not a perfect circle, which is what I want. So if I give it a width and height attribute, say, I don't know, let's try 55 pixels and take it from there width 55 pixels. Made it even slightly wider. And let's do height 55 pixels. Okay. But as you can see, the padding is not quite correct there. That five is not in the center. So what we need to do is adjust it until it's where we actually want it. So width wise, that looks almost right. Let's adjust the height first. And what I'm going to do is left click till it highlights the box. And I can roll my mouse wheel up or down until it starts to look right. That kind of looks right, but it's too wide now. So 53. Pretty sure we can just make this one 53 and that should take care of it. There we go. That's a perfect circle right there. So done that. I want to give it a box shadow as well. So let's give it a box shadow box, but I only want this on the hover. So I'm just, let's just do that in the CSS. Well, we can try it here just to see how it's going to look. So we'll do box shadow. And let's say five pixels by five pixels by 10 pixels and a color of say 888. That's pretty much, I think, what we had up there on it. Something like that, similar to that. So that's fine. Let's just copy this. Copy those last three lines there. I know we did that, but I'm going to do that in the actual module itself. And I'm going to go ahead and put this into my options sheet. I haven't given this a class yet. Got to give it a class in a minute. So we'll call it B3. I haven't done it yet. Remember, we're going to call it B3. Just like we did with that one above. And we've got to work on the anchor tags. Now they all both want to be the same height. So open, close some curly brackets. In between, let's paste that code. And I don't need that box shadow in there. I just want that on it when it hovers. So I'm going to go ahead, drop down one more. And I'm going to say class of B3, which we haven't created yet. Anchor tags. Open and close some curly brackets. And I'm going to select that box shadow. I'm simply going to cut it out of the regular one there. Control X to cut. And I'm going to paste it in our new one right there. Now you may say those are exactly the same. So what's the point of having them? You're absolutely right. What we need to do is make this just happen when it hovers right after the A. No gap. That's really important. No gap. Colon. No gap again. Hover. So that shadow now will only appear when we hover over B3's anchor tag. Save that change. Green check mark. Great. 
And let's go back and give that a class so it actually works. Now, if you notice, when you use Chrome Inspector, this is non-destructive. So when I hit the refresh button here, they will go back to how they were. Two little squares there. Get that inspector out of the way. Enable the visual builder. I'm sorry this video is going on a bit longer than I had intended. You want to go down a button one. You go down a border radius. There it is, button border radius. I want it on both, so I don't need to hit that little arrow. It's 50. This time we're using percentage, not pixels. And that should make it perfectly circular if its height and width is common. That's fine. We just need to do the same thing for button two. Button radius, 50%. Hey, okay, let's save that. Now we need to give the actual group itself a CSS class. And we called it B3, wasn't it? B3. And when I save that, you should see those things change. In fact, they've done it already. Now I've put that in there. Save. And exit the visual builder. Go down where we were. There we go. And you've got that box shadow hover effect on those perfectly round buttons there. So there you have it. That's how you add some interesting button groups using the Divi Supreme modules plugin. It's free, so why not use it? I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there. We've also got some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.